Why? Why? <laughs> Doing Why? That the whole break. Why? Why? Welcome back to the Zarian Forum. I'm Gregory Zarian. <laughs> and I'm Kim Milstein. Welcome back. Uh, we have missed you since uh, we just left you. So we left you with a question. Uh, do you have a dream? Is there something that you wanted to do that you have not done? Is there a vision that you have right here that you think, oh, I'm just going to tuck it away and not do it? Well, our conversation tonight is pull out that dream and manifest it, because joining us are Two sisters. Who that did that? They did that. I know. Then there is no why. They did. <laughs> Our two sisters, uh, they are the Carr sisters, however. Uh, different. They are the Carr sisters, however, they're different. We'll be the they're Carr married. Sisters. That's okay. To the far right is yes. Jennifer Carr, now yeah. known as Jennifer McDonald, and next to her is her sister Haley Carr. Hi, ladies. Hi. 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 We're so happy to How be are you? here. Yeah. Congratulations on your film. Thank you. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Thank I want to cry. Wait to see thank it. you. Uh, yeah, it'll, awesome. it'll change yeah, your really lives, got to tell you. So yeah. thank you for that. Oh. And you're an actress. So. I am, yes. Thank you. Still doing it. Uh, working on a project right now with John Cleese. So how um, fun! Doing, I know that's it's, it was a dream. I stalked him on set. My husband's a first AD on commercials, and he was actually doing a, a, a commercial with John Cleese. So I said, I'm sorry, I have to meet a Python. Totally. It's, I mean, I grew up watching Monty Python and Faulty Towers, so we hit it off instantly. And I just said, you know what? I I have to create an opportunity. Other than your, other <laughs> than him saying, who's the stalker? Yeah, uh, I was just going to say. Well, he does this is thing. hot, yeah. dirty. No, no. He does that thing for American blondes, though. He's married three of yeah, them. Yeah, I was so. just going to say. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. That that might have you helped. go, John. Know, yeah. Like, is he looking for number four? Yeah, I knew. <laughs> no. I'm married to a wonderful Brit. So. Uh, and what is your husband's name? Guy. Hi guy. Hi, guy. Hi, guy. Hi, family. And <laughs> next to you is your sister, Jennifer. Yeah. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. So, and yeah. no no acting history. You were I a had an huge... acting history. I kind of started us out okay. when I was very young. And so I, who's, first who's of all, I just older? want to say I'm so excited to be here. Oh. What a Glendale resident. I, I've been. Thank you. I live in Burbank Thank now. You. I'm a traitor. Traitor. Um, it's okay. I feel, we appeal to the masses. I, yeah, I'm Glendale girl at heart. And um, what a fun thing that we're here tonight. But, um, yeah, I, I started out acting and didn't like it. And well, what didn't you like about it? I think it? I didn't like being on camera. Okay. <laughs> but you do it so well. And I, I'm you're, putting you're up a front right? tonight, um, but I really didn't. I think I didn't like having to go audition and having that whole side of it, um, whereas it drove Haley, and so it was opposite mm. for her. And uh, I just I gotta said, say, though, I like that you said that, though, it drives it, it drives really you does. because I don't. My father and my older brother Vincent, the, Vincent's like, mm -hmm. dude, what do you do every day? And <laughs> I get in my car and I go to auditions yeah, and that's, that's my job. Yes. Yeah. I still mm -hmm. get excited to go to auditions. I, you know this. I still, I know. I still I know. have my passion for going. It's a passion. And I realize that if I'm at a casting or an audition and I'm yeah. complaining, it's not the right audition. Mm -hmm. And if I catch myself constantly complaining, why am I there? That's, that's right. Really good. That is that's really good. So I choose not to complain. You know yeah. I choose to sit back and watch everybody else complain and go, you chose to be here. <laughs> yeah. Like it's taken, and some of them are easier than others, I'm sure, Absolutely. auditions. Sure. And I know that from oh, yeah. Haley. And but you have to do what you love, though, going back to that concept. Because actually, Jen realized early on that she was not into acting. And luckily, I Jen was auditioning for an agent at the time, Bob Preston from Cunningham. And I was only four, but my babysitter didn't show up. So I had to go too. And literally within five minutes, I was sat on their lap telling them how I had met the Queen of England and sucking on a lollipop. And they're like, sign her up. And I'm in the background, like, in commercials. Yes, like, I'm off like, the hook. Yes, yeah. I'm out. Fantastic. Yeah, it was. You, know, you can fall into things sure. by accident, but I ended up loving it. And Jen found her own voice, actually won an award for being on stage. So I thought, yeah, the Glendale really Center good. Theater. Shout yeah. out to the Glendale yes. Center Theater. I, love yeah. I won Best Center Child Theater. Actress, I'll say. Let's do a shout out to the Glendale yes. Center. The Glendale yeah. Center Here's Theater. The I know family. the D line. They are I still go. My kids love, love going. Yep. We go every year. Yes. And what a great way to grow up. My twin brother Lawrence did all their shows. Oh, wow. and I was uh, I, I was in one of the I was in uh, Music Man. Oh my uh, gosh! Just, See, that's just the one, one I wasn't in because I, I have no singing voice. I was yeah, um, yeah. the boy in the band. Oh, and, the boy in the and band. And somebody <laughs> didn't show up, and they're like, "And let's get Lawrence's twin." Yeah. Like, so <laughs> at least I could try to perform there. That's what they would do. But yeah, I love Glen Center Theater. Do we have so. a show here? Oh, we do have a show. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, show. Thanks, Kim, for keeping so, us on track. So, so outside of acting, uh, Jen, you became a big ad exec. Yeah, I did. I mean, I don't know if you'd call it a bit, but I, I had a career in advertising in Pasadena for the Art Time Group, um, which was a great start for me. I had just been married. Mm -hmm. I had my first child at that job. Well, rumor has it you were extremely successful. But, yeah, they're, they're thank you. Agency. They are. Do you know that? They are a great agency. Yeah. Wow. They are. There was, uh, it was a, they're family friends, and I, I yeah. have nothing but great things to say about them, and what a fun 
job really yeah. out of college. Yeah. Uh, I was 21, I think, when I started working there. And um, it gave me a lot of experience, I, I would say. Who were some of your clients? Oh uh, my gosh, back at the, in the day, one of our big ones was Farmer John. Um, right when I had come on, I think they had just had Magic Mountain. I just got hungry. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. And I want to ride a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Those are some of our clients. Yeah. So, yes. So, that tell us a little bit about the dreams behind the acting and behind the ad agency. And, and I want to say this too before I do that. We want to know what your dreams are. So call us at 818-547-3668. And of course, if you have any questions for Kim or myself and also Jennifer McDonald mm -hmm. and Haley Cart, we are here for you because it's about bringing this conversation to you. Because if you have a dream, what is it? And we want to, by the end of yeah. this hour, get you inspired to see it come to fruition or at least take a baby step mm. to make that happen. Back to you. Can I ask my question now? <laughs> wow, I just got smacked. <laughs> smacked. <laughs> I told you she was back, right? Yeah, I, know, I love it. So tell yes. me about um, why we're here tonight. Oh, well, just because we want to hang out with you guys. Right. But oh, aside from that, um, no, I love the theme of the show because I think everybody has to have a dream, big or mm -hmm. small. It doesn't matter. It's it's all about following your passion. Because if you don't love what you're doing, why are you Seriously. doing it? Oh, Seriously. yeah. yeah. Why are you doing short. it? And um, even Susie Orman will tell you that if you follow, you know, if you do what you love, you'll make money eventually. You'll make more money in that because you'll stay in it. So don't worry about all the obstacles and if you, there's, you know, there aren't the resources that you need in the beginning. They will be there. Just follow your heart and what you, you know, what you love. So we did that by accident almost. Jen, I can let you speak for yourself. No, you can go ahead. decided to be a stay-at-home mom because she loves her kids um, the most. And <laughs> in the process of that, she actually had an aha moment, um, which is when we discovered Zip It Betting. Jen invented it, and then I came on and saw it drawn on a napkin, and I said, oh my God, this is either the dumbest idea or it's the next Snuggie. And, and I think we're going in the direction of it's the next million dollar idea. Or so, better. Oh, I love that. Or better. Love actually, it. real quick, I just want to dive into that yes. moment. So you left the advertising world. Yes. And you have two children? I have three you now. Have three? I had two at the time. Okay. And what was that moment? The, the, where were you at at your house in this moment, and what happened for you to go? You know what? As you said, um, Haley, this aha uh -huh. moment. Yeah, it's. Uh -huh. I tell it all the time. It was basically we, my two young boys at the time, had had a sleepover, and the next morning, when I when it came time to to open that door, that all the parents I'm sure dread of like seeing the sleepover bomb of what it really was. <laughs> I opened it, and there it was. It really was a disaster. And when it came time to to tell the kids clean up the room. I saw these young kids at the time, some of them as young as three years old, and I just saw them zipping up a sleeping bag. And mm. voila, yeah. the room was was made, and or was, was clean. And uh, I think it was later that day, it wasn't that it hit me right then, but later that day, it hit me like a ton of bricks, as they say, the aha moment hit me that I, I said, why, yeah. why it, there has to be a better way. Why can't this concept of, making the, the ease of zipping up a sleeping bag be applied to normal bedding. And so from yeah. there... Say that ten it. times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Applying the concept of a sleeping yes. bag to a regular bedding. To a regular bedding. So, so, you so, so you go normal bedding. Yeah, yeah, Zip yeah. It. So you just... So, and then instantly Jen came up with the name Zip It Bedding. That same Love moment, that yeah. The Love same it. moment yeah. it came up, uh, I thought of Zip It wow. Bedding. And then we just started working, you know, with twin sheets and things and zippers and yeah. oh my god. Then, the, then the process started. But then here's, yeah. here's my question. Was there, did your boys just not make their bed? And well, they were pretty young what? at the time. What you know, I, I just always, it was bed. that same. I make their, my bed every day. Who did you when you were seven? Bed? Yeah, I was yeah. just going to ask that. I mean, oh, who likes I was it? Larry Zarian's kid. Oh, wow. I knew how to do a hospital. I knew how to make my bed. I'm my sure dad didn't know how to make a bed. Are you, you did it. That's great. But you like to make bed. Enough. That's the key. I don't know anybody that well, likes I, to make a bed. I just knew, yeah, coming into my kid's room, it was just not even a possibility to tell my, my three or four year old child, make your bed. It was just, that, that wasn't, that didn't happen. Whereas mm -hmm. with this product, it can. So at the time, yeah. I kind of said, I think there has to be a better way to do something like as any inventor especially a mompreneur inventor mm -hmm. because you're presented every day with with problems i Did guess Did you say mompreneur? Yeah. Yes. Isn't that oh, awesome? you know, so I I'm a mompreneur. Oh, I'm going to yes. write that down. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. like Tori Spelling's a huge totally. mompreneur now, and mm -hmm. she's one of our, we love her, we're big fans. And uh, I know. was lucky enough just to host an event with her. Oh, really? She was fantastic yeah. right before she gave yeah. birth. Yeah. She's oh, sweet, and to people Hattie, don't, that one? Yes. Or, yeah. people don't assume she's an amazing businesswoman. I, oh, I was on her show so notorious, I did a little quick spot as she's I played the Canadian wardrobe stylist, and she was just... Total sweetheart pro. Sweetheart fun, but she's, she's a great, just like her dad. Great I did. Yeah, I did an Aaron Spelling show when I was a kid, and their business, which their is business it's people. inherently in her. They know like what you they're said. doing. Yeah, I yeah. Jeans. I know, and so yeah. so it's it is a mompreneur is like the hot new that. thing because they're in the environment, mm -hmm. so they're just constantly thinking of solutions to problems. Yeah, mm -hmm. and moms, what's so great about the you know the area that we're in is women really want to help other women. Mm -hmm. It's not catty, there's no agenda, they really want to help you. So that the number true. of moms that we've come into contact with that are like, we want to review your product, we want to tell our, our subscribers great. about it. That's fantastic. It's yeah. been a welcoming environment. So it, it really, we're being nurtured and it makes us feel like, oh, it's not bad that we're taking a little bit of time away from the kids or because it's all encompassing that we're, we're doing the right thing. We're going to help, help moms and kids. That's amazing. So that's our goal. Yeah. <laughs> so it, you had this aha moment and you drew it on a napkin. Yeah. Yes. You shared it with Haley. The, 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 the proverbial <laughs> napkin. It yeah. really did get, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, know. I, I, know. The, the, the I remember if I had moment. I I thought I saved it. I go, oh, it's not going to happen then, so I'm going to throw it away. Yeah. So yeah, we, I did. I, I just and then where it. did it go from there? Oh wow, where uh, so everywhere. From, I mean, basically, it was. We just started. We went to like Anna's linens and 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 Joanne's fabrics, and we just started making. We took regular bedding and we put zippers on it and figured out things. And we originally had a flat sheet and eliminated that because it was getting tangled. And we just well, we basically, yeah, we, we tried to make a, ma a, a we tried to make a homemade prototype wow. to, in order. Yes. And from there, we found a sourcing group, which was really that was a that was a big moment for us to be able to get something actually made because they were the liaison to yes. help us make it in China. Mm -hmm. So from there, that was which we were sad about. If I can interject, because especially with the unemployment rate, I wish more products were made in America. We yeah, did try. Right. And that was what was sad about it, is that we have to keep the cost down. I like the fact that you said you did try because my, my sister-in-law really um, hand really makes handbags. I love handbags. her handbags. Yes. Amandonia, shout yes. out to you, Maria, amandonia.com. Yes. <laughs> and um, the prices are a little bit higher. They are. And not, not that I, th I think not they're amazing they're pieces of, of art. Thank you. The point is that um, the they're, they're, they're kept here. And they're made here. Yeah. So and I some respect the fact that we have to. We <coughs> really did try, and we'd love to bring yeah. it back to America. <clears throat> well, um, you know what? And I, I love your your sister in law's bags. I've seen them. She has an adult line as well as kids. And yep, a new kids was, line. I know. Yeah. I saw if that. you steal my purse downstairs, I'll know. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I know. Isn't it beautiful. Oh, and she's she's gifted. Yeah. So, so so you called. Jennifer, I'm um, Haley, and yes. said, I have this moment. Did you dive right into the concept of it and say, I love this? And did, did, you have, do you have kids too? I, well, I have two dogs that okay. are my kids, <clears throat> Piggy and Charlie. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah. Shout out One's Piggy and Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I call myself a mompreneur. But no, I, because I'd had a few businesses on my own, I've been an entrepreneur at heart, as are you. So you knew the conversation. I just saw this thing and went, light bulb went on. I went, yeah. we I have to that. do this. And then I thought, let's Google it and find out if there's anything out there. Uh, no. Nothing's there out there? there? No. no. Wow. I mean, there was one crib sheet that had a zipper on it um, where you can swap out the tops, but nothing for kids. Um, and we got so much of a response, too, from the elderly and, and uh, teens that oh, we yeah. thought, oh, gosh, we could make this so big. But we thought, let's stick with one demographic. Keep it simple. That would be my advice always in the beginning is just mm -hmm. figure out who your target market is yeah. and just hone in on that. And you can always, you know... Go you big. can do Snuggy for dogs. It's like you can always go oh, big I love with that. that. For dogs. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. Start with your your direct demographic. Yeah, exactly. And, from there. and yeah. we realize kids want to help out around the house. They want to do these things. I think if you make it you know fun and interactive, I believe inherently kids do. Yeah, they, I think they so. really, oh, really totally. do. They want to please, and so if you make it fun and interactive, and, and, and anyway, we're talking around them to do. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. They right. could do it, and so. Um, that was, and, and then the moms, and on top of that, the icing on the cake was that uh, you can change it and make it as one. So it made their lives easier. So they want to help, you know, they want to give something to their kid that they want, but then it's also making their lives easier. And if you can do that in a product, if you can offer that, I think you found something. So I did see it instantly and went, we got to work on this. But it has taken a, a long time to perfect it, and you can't give up. And that's why I think we're so lucky to be sisters and best friends in this business because we hold each other accountable. Mm -hmm. You have to, yes. you can't just be a Batman. Are, are you two best friends? 
We are. On good days. No, no, we are. I can say this. I can yes. say this, though. It's, it's like true. your brother. Yeah, so it's, you guys? it's like my brothers. Yeah. Um, sometimes oh, we, yeah, are, you we are the best of friends. Oh. Right. All the time. Seriously, yeah, uh, no. And then other times we fight like cats and dogs, and yes. it's human nature. That's right. But you choose to be together at the end of the day. You mm -hmm. want to. You want to. There's, there's, there's not that big of. I mean, listen, we we have our moments of. I'm not going to talk to you today.